Hi, today we will discuss about uh, interview questions on mobile application testing. In my previous videos also you observed like uh, interview questions uh, there and this is also like uh, interview questions. Yeah, in interviews maybe sometimes they ask uh, like uh, what is installation testing. So, installation testing, it is the mandatory thing for any mobile application testing. How you test the mobile application testing? Without installation, it is not possible. So, definitely after development of that application, you have to install into your mobile and you can test that application through installed. And some applications are pre-installed, so that is a separate thing. But uh, installation testing verifies that the installation process goes smoothly without the user having to face any difficulty. Compulsory, you have to install that uh, application into your mobile. With a lot of different types of mobiles are there. You can install based on uh, client requirement and you can test that application in installation also you can do like uh, how much time it takes to installation of the project of the application and uh, if you delete that application into your mobile you can check the space of uh, tag then this testing process covers installation updating and uninstallation of the application definitely uh, if you install that application maybe after some days uh, again they release some uh, updates so again you have to install the same application into your mobile now it, it is around 20 mb maybe in future they will release up to 25 mb also it depends on your application and you can test that one through uninstallation of that application also. Next, what are the advantages of device? Means if you test the application in a device directly, yeah, definitely we have to test the application in real device it is mandatory thing to do but if you test uh, like a cloud or automation or you can use any tools that is different emulators like that but it is a mandatory thing to test in one mobile also so you can explain like uh, uh, real users real uh, issues will get only if you test in uh, uh, real mobile and memory leaks can be found on device and not on emulators for emulator we need profiling tool to look for memory related issues and network and internet connectivity issues uh, if you have a real device you can test your application with uh, different networks and internet connectivity issues like uh, for example if you are open your application in 2g maybe you will convert into the 3g and you can uh, uh, transfer to the 4g or you can uh, running that application in 2G but you can uh, change your place to one place and uh, uh, directly connect to the Wi-Fi. So you can test a lot of scenarios are there to test like a real device but it is uh, somewhat difficult to in emulators like uh, this type of internet connectivity issues. In interviews, there are uh, ask a lot of questions. So definitely, we have to answer for all that. Then only you can uh, easily get the job. And what are the disadvantages of device? Means if you test the application in a device directly. Yeah, it's a, uh, somewhat difficult because of a lot of models are there in a lot of devices are there in market uh, so for every mobile if you test it's not possible 
because of uh, if you take like a uh, samsung lot of models are there so it's uh, somewhat difficult so that's why but we can test a single uh, mobile application also real mobile device so need all devices in the market lot of devices are available need all supported versions lot of versions are there in market time required to test application is more yeah for for, for some projects they have around uh, one or two testers only at present so it's a uh, very difficult to test in all mobiles so that's why they have to test in uh, uh, require mobiles only next explain what is the difference between web testing and web testing web testing and web testing like uh, web testing it is the testing the wireless application protocol used in network applications uh, web testing means it is related mainly to the testing of web applications uh, such as websites and protocols pro portals websites and portals uh, through website uh, means uh, you, you can enter url and you can test that application while performing end to end mobile testing what are the major criteria you have to take in consideration yes uh, when i was testing in my application first of all i have to do the application install into my mobile after installation that uh, application and i have to launch that application with a different networks and uh, i have to test to uninstall that application and orientation of the application how it supports and testing the application performance on different kind of devices and networks yeah you can test in uh, different kind of uh, devices uh, and networks maybe if you uh, for if you 2 2g it will work uh, slowly if you test in 4g it was uh, fast maybe if, if it works in uh, 4g also very slow it's a uh, problems in your uh, or issues in your application so that's why i have to test uh, like a lot of ways uh, but uh, definitely i have to test the application uh, after installation only and the uh, testing the application response how it is responding means uh, we can test like uh, general testing like uh, ui testing uh, functionality and non functionality uh, like uh, whatever we have to test in uh, manual uh, same thing here also we can follow but uh, somewhat difference are there to test uh, different techniques we have to use to here so you can test like a uh, first of all uh, as per requirement uh, you can test the functionality of the application when you test that functionality of that application after installation only that's why first of all major criteria is installation and uninstallation whenever you have to install that application it compulsory when you don't want that application you can delete uh, delete means you can uninstall that application yeah if they ask like uh, what is the difference between uh, user agent and uh, simulator yeah user agent identifies the mobile internals uh, like uh, make model resolution user agent is a mandatory while uh, downloading the appropriate contents onto mobile simulator is used to test the downloading process using various user agents to check whether a device is recognized and a specific content so that's why if you they ask like what is the difference between user agent and simulator you can explain like this way what tools can used for debugging 
in interviews there are asking lot of questions it depends on your resume they ask the questions uh, if you put like any manual uh, like any tools they ask uh, in that way or otherwise they have to ask like a manual ways uh, generally to learn the cause of an issue where some failure is occurring logs are used we have to store log files in our application means in our tools for iphone configuration utility on ios android monitor dot baton and write